first thing we want to do is remove our dipstick. This is going to help the crankcase vent properly when draining our oil. Up next, using a 17mm socket, we'll go ahead and remove the drain bolt and let the engine oil drain completely. As it's draining, now's a good time to check the condition of the crush washer. If it's damaged or missing, you'll want to replace it to prevent any future leaks. Now we'll reinstall the drain bolt, but this time we'll torque it to 31 foot-pounds. Now we'll go ahead and remove our oil filter and get ready to install our new one. Yamaha pre-lubricates these oil filters from the factory, so we don't need to apply a thin coat of oil around the gasket. We'll just reinstall the, oil, the new oil filter and torque it to 12 foot-pounds. Now it's time to fill the engine with oil. Yamaha states that this unit holds 4.2 quarts of 10W40 motorcycle oil. Now we'll reinstall our dipstick. Once the engine's filled with oil, now we're going to start the engine up, let it idle for a few moments. That's going to get the oil circulated through the system properly. Once it's done that, we'll shut it down and let it sit for a few moments. That'll allow the oil to settle to the bottom of the crankcase for us to achieve an accurate oil level reading. Now we'll remove our dipstick, wipe off the excess oil, and then simply place it on top of the threads and lift it out. We want our oil level to be between the middle and upper portion of the stick. And this looks perfect, so let's hit the street.